Hello, welcome to our course on small talk in English. In our eighth lesson, we will show how to become a better listener, which is a vital skill for successful small talk. At the beginning of this course, we mentioned that 70% of the people think they are not good at small talk, whereas only 30% think that they are good at small talk. This ratio of 30 and 70 is important for another reason. When we think of small talk, people tend to think we should be good at speaking. After all, small talk is about speaking. But in reality, if we can speak for 30% of the time and we can listen for 70%, research has shown that our partner will perceive the small talk as successful. So to be a good speaker is important. But it is just as important to be a good listener. There are a lot of techniques that can help you become a better listener. In this section, we will introduce two simple but powerful techniques. These are called echoing and back channeling. Let's look at a short video to see what echoing is. I went to see a movie last night. A movie? How was it? Oh, I'm from Sydney. Sydney? Really? Wow, seems like a bad leak. Yeah, a bad one. As you can see, echoing is a very simple technique in which you repeat what the other person says, usually in the last section of the speech. You can also synchronise your behaviour, almost like a mirror of what your partner is doing. For example, if you're sitting and your partner crosses their legs, then you could do the same. Or if they lean towards you, you could lean towards them. If you can do this occasionally in small talk, people will feel closer to you and like the fact that they feel well listened to. OK, let's give an example of echoing using the small talk from our last lesson on adjectives. Where are you from? Coventry. Uh, it's in the very middle of England. Oh, the middle? I didn't know that. What is it like? Uh, it's an interesting place and it has a really fascinating history. Fascinating? That's great. Tell me about it. Oh, I'd love to. OK, so that's echoing. Let's now move on to back-channeling. Back-channeling is similar to echoing in that we say something back to our listener to show that we are listening carefully to what they have said. But instead of copying exactly what the speaker says, we use other short phrases, such as That's interesting. Really. I see. Awesome. Or even very short noises, such as Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Here we have three groups of back-channeling phrases. Agreeing, showing interest and encouraging. In the agreeing group, we have examples such as Absolutely. Aha, uh -huh, that's right. And in the showing interest group, we have examples such as Really? No way. Mm-hmm. You must be kidding. And in the encouraging group, we have examples such as Awesome. Excellent. I see. Great. Sounds interesting. There are no strong rules as to which ones are better than others. And you can see there are some overlaps. We probably tend to use only one or two phrases that we are familiar with. But if we try to use more of them, we will show that we are really listening hard. In addition to these phrases, it's really good if we can have good eye contact, a nod and show through our body language that we are interested in our partner and our small talk will be even more successful. In this lecture, we have shown two powerful ways to be a good listener. Echoing and back-channeling. If we can regularly echo and back-channel in our small talk, our speaking partner will really appreciate being listened to. They will feel good about themselves and in turn will feel good about you. A win-win situation. In our next lecture, we will continue the theme of making our partner feel good about themselves by using positive comments, 
such as praise and showing appreciation. Thank you for listening. You're doing great. Happy English learning.